Hey guys, it's Team Ed Tech here. If you're like me and sometimes you're making a video and you just want it to be plain and simple, take five minutes to edit it and throw it up on YouTube and you're on Windows, these are the two programs that you might use. This is for Windows XP and for Windows Vista. This is Windows Movie Maker 2.6. If you look over here, this is Windows Live Movie Maker, another one of those things that Windows is trying to get their whole Windows Live business going with. Both of these are great editing programs. They have their own strengths in their own ways. Like here, this is Windows, I'll make this big for you. This is Windows Movie Maker 2.6. This has its own timeline with video, transition, and audio. You can see and you can cut off where all this stuff starts. Under that, you get audio and music, so you can choose where the audio starts. And under that, there's title overlay. Something that this has that Windows Live Movie Maker here doesn't is the narrate timeline option, which is just a voiceover. If I start the if I hit the button, I can start the narration. And right now I'm doing a voiceover while this video starts. I can jump ahead and then it'll save. That's a great feature if you just want to make a quick video. Uh, uh, some things that Windows Live Movie Maker has that Windows Movie Maker doesn't is it has the ability to upload to YouTube. Let me just get some videos in here. So here I got a video, and it, now it gives me the option to upload into YouTube. If I sign in with my username, enter my password, here I get the title, description, tags, category, and public or private option. So if I want to just upload this to YouTube and later on go edit the description so it doesn't say my movie 4, I can do that. That's a great feature. Another thing this has is save in high definition, 1080p. That's really good for something as simple as Windows Movie Maker or for this Windows Live Movie Maker. Another thing is burn to a DVD. You can save in resolution of 720 by 480 which is 480p not high definition but hey you're burning a DVD it's pretty good you can add music but here you don't get the music customization you can slide and choose where the music starts and then you still have your audio but that's pretty much it there's not there's no fade in or fade out and then the the timeline the timeline doesn't look as clean as it does on Windows Movie Maker 2.6. You can add photos, which I'm not going to do. And then, but here's something it lacks. If I go to options, you don't even have an option screen. You can go to general or trust center, which aren't even options. If I go to the options on Windows Movie Maker 2.6, I get the essentials that I need. Like here, video format. Right now, my video format is NTSC and my aspect ratio is 16 by 9 and guess what that's what YouTube likes if you're uploading a video on YouTube and you have NTSC and 16 by 9 you get a video that looks like this it stretches all the way out to the screen and there we go again I'll pause this and right now YouTube has the large feature and then over here you get the side margins that are just black and you can't put anything in those but here, if I go to another video, I will show you another one of these videos that doesn't have this option. And if you take a guess, it's been saved in Windows Live Movie Maker. Very essential thing that you need. And here, let me just bring this up bigger. And I'll pause it. It makes, it cuts off the top and it cuts off the sides. And if I go to make it smaller, it just looks even worse. But hey, this video was saved in 1080p. You can save in 1080p, and it'll still look like this. And that's not what you want when you're making a video. You want it to stretch all the way out to the side to make it as big as it goes. Whether or not it looks like it's high definition or just 480p. I'll minimize this. There's compatibilities. You can, say, you can choose what this video can be compatible with. If I go to general, there's just some saving options. But here, let me show you the options for this. Nothing. So here you go. You can either have Windows Movie Maker, 
which I got on the left, or Windows Live Movie Maker. If you're on Windows 7, you have the choice of both of these. Your first option for Windows 7, when you're looking for a Windows movie editing program, is going to be Windows Live Movie Maker because it's made for Windows 7. It looks clean, has a better graphics, the ability to save in 1080p and all that. But if you really need to make a video that kind of takes a little bit of time and you can kind of, you know, do stuff like here. Right now I have voice narration, something important. I would go with Windows Movie Maker 2.6 or XP Vista and you can get it on Windows 7. If you look in the sidebar, I'll have links for both Windows Live Movie Maker and Windows Movie Maker 2.6. This video helped you. If you're looking for either one of these video editing programs, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks.